and I am a first year medical student, former registered nurse, and today's video is going to discuss how I approached taking my prerequisites for medical school and how I prepared for my AMCAS application. So even though I completed my BSN, I still had to take six additional courses before I could apply to medical school. And what I would suggest for all of you is to check out the AAMC website to know what kind of prerequisites you need to take before you apply to medical school. And once you've taken those, you can individually look at the schools that you want to apply to to see if most of your prerequisites match and if you need to take anything additionally. I ended up taking all of the AMC required prerequisite courses and then I individually reached out to all the schools that I wanted to apply for just to make sure that they didn't have something else that I didn't take. Of course, there are two options you can go about taking prerequisites. The first option is taking a one-year post-bac program. Typically, a post-bac program is a year-long dedicated program to take your prereqs. And if that's the way you want to go, it's great because you can knock all of those prereqs out in one year and then um, you have the opportunity to get committee letters from the faculty. The cons of a post-bac program is that it can be a bit costly and less flexible. So if you wanted to continue working as a nurse, it may be more difficult to be taking a full-time post-bac program while you were working full-time. Although it can be done, uh, a good friend of mine who is currently in medical school and was a former nurse was able to do this. She worked three days during the week and then she did her post-bac program the end of the week into the weekend. Um, so she was able to knock that out and get it done and was accepted to medical school. Personally, I chose the DIY approach. I wanted to be able to continue working full-time while taking prereqs. So there were some positions that I had where I was working four tens and then I would take courses on a Friday. There was a job that I had where I was doing three twelves and I was able to do lab twice a week. And um, if you had like a Monday through Friday job, you can do night courses or uh, you can take online courses as well. The only way that I was able to do this was the flexibility of being able to take courses at a community college which were the only courses that worked with my full-time working schedule and also taking courses online. I think that the medical school community often will look down at these courses, but I am here in medical school and doing very well, so I don't think that if uh, that's what's holding you back that you should just get rid of that option. It's definitely available for you and I would take advantage of it if you could. Because I was working full time while I was applying, I only took one course per semester. If you do the math, it took me about three years before I even completed my prerequisites to apply to medical school. During that time, I worked as a nurse and I really enjoyed my job. And luckily, all of that experience just helped bolster my medical school application. If you think about it, after five years of working as a nurse, I had over 10,000 hours of clinical experience that I was able to put into my AMCAS application. The things to consider are what courses are available to you and can your schedule allow for you to be flexible enough to take those courses. Do you want to do it all quickly and finish within a year or take your time, save up money and gain clinical experience by working. So that really comes down to a personal decision and how flexible you want to be with taking your prereqs. So there's a lot to consider, but luckily work as a nurse is pretty flexible. So you're able to work with the varying options that you have available to you. The great thing about being a nurse before going to medical school is that you are going to have so much material to be able to bolster your AMCAS application. Like I mentioned earlier, I had thousands of hours of clinical experience that I was able to pull from and create anecdotes for to complete not only my application, but prepare me for MMIs later and for me to be able to write a very compelling personal statement. In my job, I also worked as a charge nurse, so I had a robust example of leadership experience that I was able to draw upon. My biggest suggestion for those of you who are 
working in healthcare right now is to keep a journal. You don't need to write in it every day, but when you have clinical moments that give you pause, that inspires you or upsets you, you can jot it down in this journal and when you go to write your personal statement or fill out your AMCAS application, you can come back to that information and be able to create very compelling anecdotes that the admission committees really value. As a nurse, you have a very special clinical skill set that you can offer. If there is a free clinic in your area, try to get involved. If there's a global health program that you are interested in, go ahead and submit an application. When I was working as a nurse, I took a week-long global health service um, trip every year, so that's five trips to South America, to offer my skills as a nurse. Now, I only did it because I really enjoyed doing it and I ended up gr have, like a growing passion for global health, but this ended up really helping me in my AMCAS application and being able to um, talk about how much I enjoyed global health in my personal statement. So although I didn't really mean to, all of this experience just primed me to have a strong medical school application. I will end this video with a couple notes on statistics. A lot of people go into medical school applications thinking that they need the highest MCAT score they can get and a super high GPA. I am on neither of those boats and I knew that I wanted to go to medical school. I had a very good story and I had a strong application. And I know that my prior experience as a nurse helped me build that kind of application. So don't be discouraged if you didn't blow the MCAT out of the park. Going in as a nurse will already help you. And not only will it help you get into medical school, medical school will open up all of these other opportunities and when you apply to those, your prior experience as a nurse will also help in those areas as well. For instance, I applied for a lead position in a, in a free clinic at our school and I, I have a feeling that a lot of my leadership and clinical experience Experience as a nurse helped me get that position. I'm also going to start doing research with Harvard Medical School this summer and I think that my CV with all of my prior experience in healthcare also helped in that sense as well. So just know that your nursing experience or prior healthcare experience isn't just going to help you get into medical school, it's going to help you thrive in medical school. Well that's a small part of my story and I hope that it helps you either start or continue your journey. Thank you for watching.